I've been wearing the Yeezy Foam Runner every day for three months, and I need to tell you guys everything there is to know about the Yeezy Foam Runner, and if you want to wear these, watch out. This is a very affordable sneaker bag made by Soul Premise. Make sure you guys check out Soul Premise for high quality, affordable sneaker bags. This bag right here holds four pairs of shoes. These dividers actually come out so you could actually play around with it, put your clothes, your charger, laptop, everything you need with you when you're traveling. Soul Premise makes backpacks, duffel bags, all different sorts of bags to hold your sneakers safely and securely with you when you're traveling. Click my link down below in the description, check out Soul Premise, and make sure you guys use my promo code Danny Moore for 40% off the entire website. And if you guys cop anything from Soul Premise, make sure you guys send me a DM on Instagram. I have a surprise for you, for those of you that cop and use my code. So make sure you guys check out Soul Premise, link down below. Thank you Soul Premise for sponsoring this video. Here is the giveaway winner for the Travis Scott Olive Air Jordan 1. Shout out to you, thank you so much for the love and support that you show me here on the channel. It absolutely means the world to me. For all the support that I get, thank you guys so so, so much. So, congrats to you for winning the Travis Scott Olive Air Jordan Ones. We're gonna do a brand new sneaker giveaway right now. Lost and Founds, let's do it. Let's give away a pair of Lost and Found Air Jordan Ones. Like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, DM me proof on Instagram, send me proof that you guys subscribed. Good luck, this giveaway will end at the end of the month. So make sure you guys get your giveaway entries in for a free pair of Lost and Found Air Jordan Ones. Watch out for sizing. We have to talk about sizing with the Yeezy Foam Runners because sizing is a big thing. It's all over the place, to be honest with you. So, these are the Onyxes that I've been wearing every day for over a little over three months now. As you guys can see, they are beat. We'll talk about the bottoms and what happens later on. I want to talk about sizing because it's atrocious. It's bad. It's very bad. It's all over the place. Let me explain. The Onyx here is a solid colorway. These are made in China. This is a size 11. I'm a 10 and a half or an 11. These fit me beautifully. They fit me great. Awesome. I had the Vermilions, the red pair. Another solid color that also happens to be made in China. Size 11, I couldn't even get my foot into the shoe. I would probably need a 12, probably even a 13 in the Vermilions. Absolutely awful sizing. I don't know what the heck is going on. The ochre pair, I also had an 11. I don't have them anymore, but that ochre pair was a size 11 and fit me beautifully as well. And that pair is made in the United States. Now, this is where get, things get a little more interesting because I just recently received the MX Cinder. So this is an MX colorway where you have all different patterns and craziness going on. There's a few, a handful of colorways that have this MX pattern going on. Well, these run small as well. This is a 12 and it fits me just like the 11 does here on the Onyx. These are a 12. I'm not a size 12, I'm usually a 10 and a half or an 11. So, with that being said, if you're gonna get the Onyx, I do think you can go true to size. The Ochre, true to size. An MX colorway, I would definitely go up a full size. The red pair, the Vermilions, go up at least a size, maybe even possibly two sizes, which is crazy. So, Yeezy Foam Runner sizing is really all over the place. My best advice would be what I just told you guys, or the best thing, if possible, I know this is not easy, but try them on before you buy them. That's the best way to do it, to know what size is best for you. So if it comes down to it, go to your local sneaker store, ask to try on a pair, don't buy them because they're gonna probably charge you crazy prices, but go on you know, your apps or wherever else you are gonna purchase them from and you'll know what size to get once you actually try on the pair, the specific colorway that you actually want. So, if you're gonna get the Onyxes, you can go true to size. Comfort is on a whole nother level, to be honest with you. These are extremely comfortable. Now, I have heard that the Ararat colorway, which I don't have, but that's the OG, I've heard that those are actually even more comfortable than any other foam runner because those apparently are softer a little bit softer of the algae and the foam material combined. So from what I understand, I never wore them. Don't take my word on it. But from what I've heard from a lot of people is that the Ararats are even more comfortable and more flexible than 
any other foam runner. But with that being said, look how flexible the Onyx is. You can bend them, you can do a bunch. They're very easy to throw on. You don't have to really bend down and put your foot into them. You could slip them on. Slip them right on, slip them right off, and they're comfortable. I do wear them all the time with socks. I do recommend wearing them with socks. Would I wear them without socks? Yeah, but not for a long period of time at all. I wouldn't walk around all day without socks in them because I do think your foot will sweat a little bit in them because of the material of the foam on the insole here, on the, on the where your foot bed, like where your foot actually goes in the foot bed. I feel like it's actually gonna sweat a little bit even though there's a lot of holes in them, your actual bottom of your foot might sweat on the bottom of that. So I always wear socks when it comes to the Yeezy Foam Runner. I think it's just a better look. With the Onyx pair, of course, I wear black socks. If I was gonna wear the Ararats, white socks, you guys see where I'm going. These are gonna be probably, possibly, you guys are gonna let me know, should I keep these? Should be, this be my next Foam Runner in rotation? Because these Onyxes are almost done for because of the bottom. Let's talk about the bottom. The bottom, as you guys can see, is not only dirty, but it's actually fading. Like, it's going away. The actual traction is going away like crazy. And I'm not a person that really grinds my feet on the ground. I don't do anything crazy. I just walk normal. I, most of my shoes don't have heel drag. I don't drag my feet, none of that. It's just the bottom material, the foam material when you're wearing the shoe. So here's a brand new pair of foam runners. You guys can see crazy good traction. And then here's what happens when you wear them a lot. It's been over three months every day. You guys can see I do have some patterns still going on, some grips still going there on the bottom. But as far as the top here, a lot of it's off in the mid section. A lot of the, the traction is just straight up gone. And that's what happens when you wear them because of the concrete. It's just what's gonna happen. So don't expect them to last a long time. If you're gonna wear them a lot, don't expect them to last a long time at all. You're not going to be able to get years and years and years out of one pair unless you wear them, you know, once or twice a year. But if you're going to wear them heavily like I am, you're going to need a new pair pretty often. You're going to because this is going to happen. And I have a feeling, I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to continue to wear these, but I have a feeling one day there's going to be a hole in them. Yeah. I think the foam material is straight up going to have a hole in the bottom. And I'm not going to, at that point, I won't wear them. There's a hole in the shoe. I'm not going to wear them. And if I did, rain, water, it would get my socks wet, right? Everything would be soaked. Now, let's talk about weather conditions. What kind of weather conditions can you wear the Yeezy Foam Runner in? Me, personally, I wear them in everything except for snow. That's the only weather condition I wouldn't wear them in because I'm not trying to get my entire feet soaked like that but when it's raining i've worn them in the rain a lot now when it's pouring out no because i'm i don't want to get my feet soaked but a drizzle yeah i don't mind it it doesn't last long and my feet don't even get wet when it's drizzling so i don't really care about the drizzling it's more so the rain like downpouring i wouldn't do it and especially snow if you're gonna dive your feet into snow i wouldn't do it Right, so that's something to look out for. Now, I will say this, summer is perfect. Spring is perfect. If you live in an area where the weather's good all year long, well, first of all, shout out to you, that's awesome. But second of all, yeah, you're good to go. You're good to wear them all year long and you're gonna really enjoy them all year long because you live in a place where you can enjoy them all year long because of the weather. I live in New Jersey. The only months I personally wouldn't wear these is probably January, February, March, maybe a little bit of December, and that's about it. So three to four months out of the year, I probably won't wear these, but the rest of the time, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Comfort is through the roof. Now, I will say this. Some people might look at you crazy when you're wearing them. I've gotten crazy looks up and down, crazy looks what is on my feet stopped and asked what am i wearing are those crocs i've gotten that before you're gonna get those questions you might get looked at because it's not a shoe that everybody sees all the time right it's not a traditional sneaker so yeah the public eye is going to look at you a little weird sometimes depending on where you're wearing these two if you wear them to the mall yes you might get some looks if you wear them out in public yes if you're not gonna wear them in public 
then don't worry about it, you know? I know people that only wear them to walk the dog, to go to the store, do little errands here and there. I use them for that, but I also do wear them to the mall real quick. I'm not gonna go in the mall for an hour and wear them, but a real quick trip to the mall, I've done it a bunch of times wearing the Easy Foam Runners. You get looked at, you get asked about them, and it is a conversation starter at the end of the day. I will say that they definitely are a conversation starter. Let me know down below in the comments. Since I'm gonna continue to wearing the Onyx, right? I know that these are gonna get continue to get really bad and I'm expecting a hole in the bottom. I'm gonna be honest. I'm expecting them to get holes in the bottom because it's just foam at the end of the day. Should I keep the new MX Cinder Foam Runners as my second pair? Should I do it? Should I start wearing these? as well let me know down below in the comments i'm not sure i will say this this black colorway the onyx is a lot easier to wear than other colorways because it's an all black shoe it's not going to stand out too much compared to other colorways so if you want a subtle colorway go with the onyx if you want something bright out there loud get the vermilions make sure you go like a size or two up get an mx cinder or an mx colorway there's other colors there's solid colors there's mixed colors so you have some options when it comes to the easy foam runner and i definitely recommend them i definitely do i recommend them of course for retail if you can get them for retail awesome that's great if not resell do i recommend it yes would i pay three four five hundred dollars for a pair no would i pay two hundred dollars for a pair Yes, that's basically my limit on them, 200. If not, it is what it is. That's my personal limit when it comes to the Easy Foam Runner because at the end of the day, it's foam. It's foam. It's not a traditional sneaker. It's not supposed to be a traditional, you know, sneaker that you tie in lace like that. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be something unique, different, out there, and they definitely are. They definitely are. I do highly recommend them. Comfort is on another level. And they're very wearable at the end of the day. It's a wearable throw on beat around shoe. That's what they're really meant for. I don't recommend, you know, not wearing them, putting them up, you know, once or twice on your feet a year. Don't do that. Wear them, enjoy them, get use out of them. Look how crazy that is. No other shoe does that, right? It's foam, it's algae mixed, and it's a great combination. Kanye definitely did a great job on these adidas they killed it guys they, they're they're a great comfortable shoe i know when we first saw them everyone's like what the heck are those but guys try them on the kanye effect is real try them on and i think you will definitely fall in love with the comfort maybe not the look so much i get it but at the same time your pants will cover you're good they're comfort Comfort is king, and it's still a Yeezy at the end of the day. It's a Yeezy foam runner. They are retailing at $90, which is a solid price point. A little expensive for what you're getting for foam like this. It is a little expensive, I will say that, compared to Crocs or other things. But you're paying for the Yeezy name, of course, the Adidas branding and everything, Adidas making the shoe, and at the end of the day, it's still a Yeezy. So I do highly recommend the Yeezy foam runners every day for three months and I wore them a crap ton. Make sure you guys get the right size for you. Trust me, you do not want to run into sizing issues with these because it sucks. Then you got to sell them, get trade them, get your size. It's a hassle. It's a pain. So try your best to get the best size for you before you purchase them. Make sure the sizing is correct because it is kind of all over the place. Let me know your thoughts on the Easy Foam Runner down below in the comments. Let me know how long you've been wearing a pair of Yeezy Foam Runners 4. If you guys want me to do an updated video, eventually when these do probably get a hole in them, let me know down below in the comments. I'll make that video an updated video later on. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to continue to wear these. I'm going to continue. I'm not going to stop. I love the Onyx. Leave a comment. Let me know. Should I keep the MX Cinder as my next pair of Foam Runners? They're right here in hand. I paid retail. Let me know if I should do it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.